We certainly knew that at some point, modern AI technology would be integrated into physical robots, but this is happening far sooner than one would normally predict. Since the beginning of the AI race, OpenAI has been making serious waves, and this recent announcement from OpenAI will simply blow your mind. They have partnered with a robotics company previously known as HaloD Robotics, which recently changed the company name to 1X to create these physical robots that will be powered by the new AI technology. Now this is really, really impressive. We all have been following the amazing feat achieved with the OpenAI large language model ChatGPT4, which has abilities unlike anything we have seen before. But this is still very much undergoing more advancements despite the amazing abilities already incorporated. Now imagine this being infused into a life robot. It will be simply very much insane, and there's no limit to what can be done with this. An official statement regarding the change of name by the robotics company Halidy is seen right here on the official company page, where they've made a commitment to the use of androids to augment labor. This reads, Over the past eight years, we have developed unique actuator systems in AI, commercializing an android that now serves the US enterprise market. We believe that our new name, 1X, better reflects who we are as a company and our vision to augment labor using Android. I know the most interesting part for many will be the last section of the announcement. It basically points out that these robots will be targeted at providing labor for various industries. But not to worry, optimizations of these things take a while, maybe a couple of years at least, and it will take some extra time before many can trust them enough to integrate them into their day-to-day -day activities. Interestingly, this here, in the top right corner, we see that it is clearly written Summer 2023. So basically, in a few months, we will be seeing some really spectacular features that we hope will come along with this technology. With the help of the language models already available to OpenAI, these robots are likely to have close to human performances. And talking about human performance, the company talks about it here in this section with the features it just states. Our newest Android iteration, Neo, will explore how artificial intelligence can take form in human-like bodies. With OpenAI contributing to this project with the large language data that is already available to them, I think the bulk of the work will be in the area that involves fine-tuning the robots themselves to achieve the required fluidity in movement and overall efficiency. Halidy has been doing some impressive things in the area and I'm sure that they will meet expectations this time. In a minute, we will be looking at some of the amazing inventions that we already have coming out of Halidy prior to this partnership. But first, it is imperative to note that powering a physical robot with the ChatGPT program means that the robot will have the ability to understand context and act accordingly. This will be a giant stride towards AI autonomy. This is just spectacular considering that just recently, we started to see the development of large language models that are still very much setting new records as the days go by. Halidy Robotics has been doing really well with their previous models of robots. Though these were powered by some software we do not know and designed for specific tasks, these ones here in these demonstrations have been trained to carry out some of the domestic activities. Commercialization of optimized models of these robots will likely make them appealing to some homeowners and even bars and restaurants. Coupled with the efficiency that we expect to come with the incorporation of the GPT technology, there's no telling what the OpenAI Neo will be able to achieve. Introducing robots to carry out daily functions as Halidy has done will eliminate the errors that come with using actual humans for these functions. Of course, this has its own downsides, especially for those that depend on these positions to make ends meet. But I think we still might have some time before we get to this level of advancement. We're expecting that what we will be seeing by Summer on Neo is likely something that we have seen in this video. So we won't be looking forward to an immediate rollout of these robots. So it will basically be a demonstration just as we have here. Whatever it might be, we're really interested in seeing how these technologies will be fused together and what limits they will be able to break with such combinations. There is no doubt that this will be unlike anything we've ever seen. And in the future, we will likely be seeing so many other collaborations aimed at making this better. One thing that might be disturbing about these quick advancements is that despite the initial petitions we had seen making rounds in the past, calling for a slowdown in the AI development process, nothing seems to be happening in that regard. Some might go ahead and argue that they're not obligated to act by the dictates of this petition, but one would have ordinarily expected something to happen. 
Even Elon Musk, who had signed this petition, seems to be catching up with the race. Various other companies outside OpenAI have their head pretty much in the same direction that OpenAI is heading now, and we aren't likely to see anything slowing down soon. Now, an important aspect that seems to be preoccupying these integrations of AI programs with physical robots is making them able to interact very well with their environments. I mean, this makes total sense, as these will be likely tasked with functioning in dynamic environments that will challenge their capabilities. This Google robot is a perfect example of this. We see in this video that the person beside the robot severely disrupts the function, and it manages to repeat them till it could finally achieve its aim. This is really good, and we will give Google their medal on this one. And with the enormous data and resources that are available to Google, one shouldn't be too surprised by these achievements. There is no doubt these robots, which are trained using language models, that have been improved over time will be amazing in performance. But another amazing feature that everyone should look forward to is how the emergent abilities will play out in these physical robots. It will be really insane to see these robots performing tasks which they weren't previously trained to perform. The idea of the emergent ability basically points towards these man-made AI being able to learn from interactions with humans. As much as this is quite interesting, releasing these technologies safely is another place I think we really, really need to pay attention to. As these are basically being designed to have direct physical interactions with other humans, which will definitely include children, safety cannot be overemphasized. Some interesting things have been going on in the background in a bid to optimize these AI programs, and one of such is the testing of social robots. And from the name, you can easily make out what these are designed to do, which is being employed in situations where they interact with human subjects. And with the growing introduction of these robots into our daily lives, understanding how humans interact with these robots is very, very crucial. Some Danish scientists carried out research to find out how the tone of these robots will affect their interactions with humans. This was done to find out how robots and AI can be efficiently applied in education. Different teams were assembled, and one was made to interact with a robot with a really charismatic tone, while the others sounded less charismatic. And these results will surely interest you. Explaining the process, Dr. Kirsten Fisher of the University of Southern Denmark gave a rundown of the process, saying, We had a robot instruct teams of students in a creativity task. The robot either used a confident, passionate, i.e. charismatic tone of voice, or a normal, matter-of-fact tone of voice. The aim of this study, basically, is to ascertain what impact tone has on learning. This is important, as efficiency is one of the major selling points of robots. I mean, why will you get something that will exercise the same flaws as humans when you already have humans to play that role? Better interactions and team involvement was seen in the team with the charismatic, passionate robot, and the other viewed themselves as more resilient, as you will see in the image on the right. This is definitely one direction that developers are advised to look at if they're truly seeking to integrate these machines with humans. At this point, it's safe to say that we don't know exactly how fast the AI industry is growing. There's been some insane growth within a short period this year alone. In the coming months, we are likely to see the competition rise up to the game. As of this moment, it is hard to say which company has the upper hand in this race. We have also seen Tesla robots that share some physical features with Neo. We don't know exactly what software Tesla intends to use in these robots as of now, but it will most likely be something from XAI, which is also affiliated with the owner of Tesla, Elon Musk. Lately, we haven't heard much from the side of XAI since its launch, but we think it will be as spectacular as the other products from Elon Musk. They might be entering the market late, but I think Elon can count on his strong follower base to advance his products. Now, did you expect this level of growth from the industry this soon? Watch the next video for more insights, like and subscribe so that we can keep you in touch with the latest updates, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Till next time.